Urban Therapy with Sun Sun 752. This is your daily go get number 224 for May 17, 2015. Alright, so yesterday, you know what I mean? We had the, you know, the spring cleaning event number two. Make sure y'all come out for spring cleaning number three in June. Date to be announced. You know what I'm saying? But make sure we get it in. Today, today. I want to talk about how people say that they in something for the long haul. I'm in it for the long haul. I'm I'm ride or die. You know, f- full life. Full life. Whatever. Whatever. People always talking about how down they are for something. But as soon as you start turning up the heat up on, on something, or as soon as things get a little harder and they have to really put in the work or make the, 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 the tough decisions, the hard decisions, then they want to start pulling back. Then they want to start bitching up. Then they want to start trying to find the exit. Then they want to start blaming somebody for the reason that they're not down with something so, so much anymore. I mean, it's a serious situation, really. And sometimes when you see it play out, it's kind of, it gets more and more interesting as time goes on. Because there are some people out there that really just like to be part of something that's 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 popping, something that's popular, the hot thing, you know, the new, the newest flyest, hottest thing. You know what I mean? It's like it's like everybody watching the show Empire. You know, that's the hottest thing. But a new show that probably has has to prove itself will be harder for people to get into because everybody ain't talking about it. So it's easy for somebody to get in on the hot thing, the new thing, the, the new fresh thing that everybody is doing. Because that's gonna get depressed um, when when I say depressed, not depressed. It's gonna get all the advertising that it needs. People want to talk about it from word of mouth and all of that kind of stuff, so you want to get wind of it. But something that's in the works, everybody don't want to get on to that. They don't want to be a part of that. They want they, they don't they want to see how it's going to go. Sometimes people can't be a part of something that's not popular, you know, because that's a rough thing. So I mean, it's easy to get on the bandwagon of something that's really working, something that you don't really have to work at. Something that's already bringing in money, something that's already bringing in the fame, the prestige, the popularity. But when it comes to the thing that needs needs to work, you know, when it's time to go through those ups and downs, like, like, uh, like you taking that roller coaster ride of emotions or the work detail that needs to be done, that's when you find out who's really real and, and really full life or really ride or die and all of that. People and, and the media, we we foster a whole lot of this that that kind of stuff because we hear all that kind of stuff. I need a ride or die chick. Basically, what you're saying is you need you need a you a woman that's going to be down for you once you you know as long as you're doing all that dumb shit out there. But when you really think about it, that's not that's not really who you would you should stand behind. But it happens. But like I said, when it and, and even with that that ride or die shit, let's say let's say a chick tells you that she's ride or die, no matter what you doing, you know all of that craziness that you doing out there, you know what I mean she gonna be down with you, you know. But once once you get popped and you take that bus ride upstate and you doing that bed for five years, ten years, now she got put money on them books, she still ride or die. You know what I'm saying? She's still going. She she's still going to make those VI um 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 days. That's visits. You know what I mean? Is, 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 is she going to do that? You know. So and, and and let's say if y'all have kids together, she's going to bring them kids up. She's going to make sure that she don't find another daddy for them. You know what I mean? That's the that's how you really measure, measure that ride or die stuff. Anybody can say yeah. You know what I mean? If you you go to court or whatever, I make sure I put that right hand high for you. <laughs> Yeah, and so that's that sound all good, but that's the easy part. Going going back and forth to court, for the most part, is easy. I mean, it's stressful for the person that has to go back and forth to court. But once you get all of that done, but when it's time to take that 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 bus ride of of state, that's when you find out who's really riding the die, because they ain't throwing that throwing that money on, 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 on your on your on your books. They ain't coming up there to visit. They ain't they, they ain't writing you no material. They ain't sneaking shit in there for you. And all that. They ain't riding or dying for you. Now, now of course, they're going to make excuses for it because they're going to say things like, well, you know, he was out here doing that dumb shit. You know, if he if he, he wasn't doing that dumb shit, he wouldn't have got popped and he, he wouldn't need nobody to come visit him and 
and put money, you know, give money and all that kind of stuff, or accept those collect calls. But you said that you was gonna ride or die. So you either riding or you dying. <laughs> but the only thing that, that suffers the death is your loyalty or your dedication. And I mean, sure, you can have whatever reason for it, but the bottom line is when it's time to do the real work, that's when you find out who your real people are. Anybody can say the words because the words are easy. You know what I mean? Y'all can be sitting around smoking weed and, you know, drinking, whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's when people start talking all that shit. Like, you me, you know, I'm down with you forever. And we gonna always do like that. We gonna always be crew and all of that. Yeah. But when the real work needs to be done, what's really good. And sometimes, sometimes people can surprise you because it ain't always the ones that's saying they gonna ride or die or, you know, they in it for life or, or whatever. It's not always the ones that's that screaming that that are really in your corner. Sometimes people that ain't saying nothing. But when you're going through them hard times, you need a help. You you need some help. You need a lawyer retained. You need you know you need you need that rent money or you you know your, your kids hungry or something like that. Sometimes it's the person that you never expected will help you out that come through and lend a hand. And sometimes they keep doing that. So you, I mean, on a real, it would be. Um, it would take a lot of integrity for you to make sure that you pay that back. Not necessarily in, in funds. You might not have not ever have it like that, but you should at least make the effort. So, bottom line is sometimes sometimes people say that they're going to be, be in something for the long haul, or whatever, whatever. But once they get tested, that's when you find out who's really real. Yeah. And, and don't get me wrong, because some people expect you to be be down with them no matter how much stupid shit that they keep you um, 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 in, you know, they have you run into the precinct constantly or running in the, uh, other neighborhoods, um, <laughs> you know, you know, ready to blast people or rescuing people and, and all that kind of stuff. I mean, but if you signed up for that lifestyle, that's, that's on you, but I'm not, I'm not trying to make excuses for that. It just is what it is. Good things happen to those who wait. Great things happen to those who grind and anything can happen to those who go for theirs. So go hard, go for yours, and if you say that you in it for the long haul, for life, ride or die and all of that, don't say it if you don't mean it. You know what I mean? Be ready for what comes along with that because just like just like anything that you, you, you get drunk with or get high with, you gotta come down from all of that. And that's when the reality kicks in. So if, you, if your heart really ain't in it, you need to stop talking like that. Or distance yourself before the heat really get turned up. I ain't even get into that. Yeah, that heat. You know, when the cops come see you <laughs> and they want that statement. <laughs> yeah, it, it's easy to keep your mouth shut <laughs> until the cops start lying to you, telling to, telling you that somebody else already snitched. You know what I mean? Do you still keep your mouth shut then? Those little tricks, y'all. Y'all need to know that too. There's a lot of people out there have relatives or acquaintances or friends or whatever, you know. It's legal for the cops to lie to you. You need to understand that. It's legal for cops to lie to you. So when you go into that interrogation room and they tell you that your man already flipped on you and all of that, and he ain't said nothing, if he make if, if, if they make you believe that and you give that statement, that statement is valid. Even if you did it without a lawyer. Well, you know, I mean you can fight it later on, but you gave the statement up front. So if it becomes admissible, that's on you. But just know that in order to get a confession, they are able to, they are, it is legal for the cops to lie to you to get a confession. So don't be, don't be thinking, you know, stupid like, well, you know, he told me that somebody else had already told. I mean, you have to talk, tell. And that's what I'm talking about when they say, when I say that will you stay loyal, will you be in a full life, when you ride or die, when the heat gets turned up, when the going gets rough, when times get hard, when ain't nobody got your back, when you think your man already flipped, and you find out later on after you already, after you flip, that he ain't flip. <laughs> now he might flip. It's a crazy situation, yo. Yo, the adult class trip is coming up on June 6th. Make sure y'all stay tuned to that. We're going to the art museum. It's going to be hot. And don't forget about the Daily Go Get Abism show every day at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Call in number 347-677-1533.
holler at that thing and think it's on fire. And peace to everybody who came out for the, the spring cleaning event yesterday. That thing was on fire also. We're doing it every month all the way up until um, November. Get on that thing. We got to take better care of ourselves. I holler.